Hey folks, what's going on? Clutch here. Welcome back to Medicine Creek on the Farm Sim Network. Um, we got a little bit of snow here, guys. <laughs> I'm just trying to make a path so that I can get out of our farm, essentially, with the semi-truck that does not like snow. That truck definitely does not like the snow. Um, so I'm making a trap out of the area and seeing if I can get it to close to our, our silos so we can make some cells. But uh, that's pretty much all we can do today. Uh, I've been cleaning up, cleaning some, some equipment up. So I'm trying to figure out how we're going to get going first thing in the spring. Making a plan is really the, the biggest thing. We've got quite a bit of product still in our silo. Uh, we're dealing, we're doing all right for money-wise. Just trying to kind of get things started first thing. I'll start off on a, on a good foot here come the spring. Now I do have two fields we didn't get to. I'll show you guys those in a second. Let's uh, keep on plowing away here. Oh man, look at the snow banks. Look at the snow banks. <laughs> oh man, yeah, the Ford's handling it. Let's uh, keep on plowing some snow here, guys, and I'll see you in a bit. Let's do this thing. Bitter batter. All right, guys, here is, well, one of the fields. I owe these two little small triangle fields. You know what? We're just gonna leave this here for a second. Nothing's, nothing's coming. No one's out in this side of the county. Um, we didn't get these planted. I couldn't get them planted in time. They're the small triangle fields. I'm not too concerned. I don't think it's gonna be an issue. I got this one here. And you know what? Let's just jump in the back of the truck here. Look on way, way, way back over there. There is another field on the far side. The tracks are right here. That's our farm. So um, these fields, oh, I didn't get to them in time. I couldn't get to them to get a double plant into them. We'll have to get to them in the first thing in the spring here. And uh, it should be all right, I think. We'll be okay with that. You know what? It's fine. It'll give us a different time, uh, a different timing for our harvest, which will be maybe better off in the grand scheme of things. Um, I find that harvest season, we just run out of time. We just don't have enough time to get through everything in time. So we'll have to wait for that. Now, let me uh, get over the tracks here and we'll climb the hill and we'll kind of plow some snow at the top of the hill here. We actually had a pretty good snowfall out here, guys. Look at this. Like, that's our field right there. There's our farm. Um, a decent amount of snow came down for sure. All right, up to the top. Just trying to get down. I want to see if I can get down to the silo system that's down in this neck of the woods. This is the, gro the global warehouse area. Uh, yeah, I do need to get all the way down there at some point. Just so we can sell stuff if we need to decide we want to do this. But no one's been up here, it looks like. There's been no plows up here. Oh, wait, wait. No, there's definitely been a plow up here. Look at this. Oh, someone took the corner. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to come out and plow all this out of the way for us. But it's just... We got a pretty good snowfall the other day, it looks like. And just no one's been out yet. It's 1 o'clock. They must be all in the town dealing with that. But we'll see if we can get a, a bit of a plow all the way down. And come on back and deal with what we can. Now, I know on some of the other servers, there are actual contracts out for snow removal that you can take. I kind of wish ours had that. <laughs> be nice um this took some time i was out driving around the whole county here that being said i'm not doing a great job i'm not gonna lie this is not the best work i've ever done but um this ball is kind of tough to use but i mean I, I have been doing like 50 miles an hour too uh never mind <laughs> i've had to slow down a little bit to try to get more of it uh, i mean we're, we're doing okay it looks all right back there i think it's all right isn't it i don't know uh we're getting there slowly we're coming back up on the farm here in a sec here and we'll, uh, we'll go through and see. I've got some maintenance to do. I mean, look at this truck alone. This truck here is in pretty rough shape. Uh, I should do some maintenance on it. I got both our tractors. I'll show you what we got for equipment left over, guys. We've kind of decided uh, to keep some of the equipment. Because, quite honestly, the lease amount versus... The daily lease amount versus the release amount, there's no point in taking it back um, as of right now. I wouldn't... Like, I'd love to buy something, but... We just don't... We're not quite ready. We're close. We're getting so close. And you know what? A decent spring harvest may be able to put us over that edge, guys. We'll see. All right. Let me just push the snow up here for now. Okay. That's going to do right there. Lift this up. Fold this thing. Oh, no, no. I want to fold this in. Uh, I want to fold this back. There we go. Okay. Well, we've got the roadways mostly clear. Our farmyard, for the most part, guys, is cleaned up. I've done what I can here, at least. So I have access to everything that I'm going to need. But uh, I do want to do some maintenance. So I'm going to actually pull this truck around the backside. That is one of the problems is that our mechanic shop is kind of out in the field. It's not the end of the world, but it's not perfect either. I should probably put like a little bit of a roadway over here maybe. We can just use this. There we go. Let's uh, turn this off. A little bit of work to this thing. Get it fixed up. Only 374 bucks. Let's repair it again. Let's go put some fuel in it while we have it as well. I'll go put this truck away for a bit here. 
but all our equipment guys needs this for the most part at least both our tractors do of course the least stuff i'm not overly concerned with uh that's totally fine let's just grab the fuel back this up right here we can get this filled up oh not close enough not close enough let's get her nice and close into our diesel fuel here there she goes cool there we go filled up 50 bucks not bad that's cheap that ain't nothing all right i'm gonna put this thing back in the shop grab a little blue we're gonna do the same thing with him uh i think he's actually needs quite a bit of work and same with our john deere they've both been uh well to say used and abused or you putting it lightly i think okay actually you know what maintenance isn't bad on little blue it's fuel he's down to a quarter tank um we've gotten a lot of use out of this little tractor i was kind of skeptical on this you guys might remember i was not sure what to think of little blue when we first picked him up a little two-wheel drive new holland i mean what what could we possibly use him for you know what turned out to be pretty good we've used him for more than what uh, we probably should be Let's give this thing a quick repair there we go 200 bucks not bad um yeah we've used them for more than probably what we should be to be honest with you we're really pushing the limits of this little tractor but keeps on handling it so i am not complaining great little tractor if you guys are looking for something small uh just be aware of its limitations being two-wheel drive there we go it's gonna take a little more than 50 bucks i think for fuel but that's quite all right definitely used it all there we go and fold up 212 bucks worth of fuel um, I don't know if I filled this up at all this year. I think that might have been the first fill up we've ever had to do on Little Blue. I can't remember now. Did we have to fill it up once? We might have to fill up once. Anyways, Little Blue's good to go. Put him away for the winter here. Finish off the last couple days. We'll have him out again soon. Now inside the shop, we've got our planter still, of course. And uh, we've still got... Well, we've still got the, the harvester. We're keeping the 690. Uh, or so on, it's 790. Sorry, that was a 690. The 790. We're going to keep the 790 leased for now. Now... The cost on this is 20 grand to lease. Now, keeping it only costs us about five grand a day. So you start doing the math on that and it almost equals out. Um, it's just more convenient to have it on site with us the whole time. I suppose if we needed to put fuel or repairs onto it, maybe that would change my mind. Also in here, we've got this Elmer's little, uh, Pinky's still in here from Farm Boy as well as Farm Boy's tractor. He's keeping it down here for now until the summer comes around. But John Deere, that's what I need to repair. We gotta make sure this thing's good to go for the year. I think uh, this could use a bit of maintenance as well. Let's make sure we connect it. Oh, we are too. Let me disconnect everything here. Dis disconnect. Why aren't you disconnecting? There we go. That's better. Gotta get those hoses off first. All right, we'll get the 8320 around back again. Do the same thing with it. Look at this. So it's down to its quarter tank of fuel as well. Uh, maintenance isn't too too bad on that it, it'll cost us a hundred bucks or so i'm sure to get this thing filled up not a huge amount of, but still i want to make sure it's good to go for the year so we'll pull this on in up on out let's go fill this thing repair this thing on up with 666 that's ominous <laughs> all right let's jump on over to our fuel pull up with fuel as well make sure it's good to go and uh, that's it for the equipment for the most part guys i mean we've got our uh, our truck as well i think our truck is actually not bad we're probably gonna have to jump in that anyways to, to move some product around but for the most part it should be okay oh man yeah that's a big tank on this bad boy this could take a second almost almost and full maybe there we go 600 bucks ouch oh that hurts all right 600 bucks for the fuel uh, that's a lot of fuel all right so everything's good to go minus i'm not gonna even bother checking the combine since uh it's a lease we'll leave it where it's at let me park this right back in here again so it's ready to go for plant season come another day or two here we'll see by tomorrow i mean all these fields are planted uh this one here those ones are there the only ones we have to plant are those little triangle fields i can get into those tomorrow i don't know if the grasses or the grounds would be thought enough to do it but if it is then we'll jump in there and we'll plant away uh, the rest of these fields guys i'm not expecting to be able to harvest until at least like three days from now it's it's gonna be a bit still all right let's hop on up uh let's take a quick look you know what? we're a little low on fuel on this actually we've used a half a tank that's okay so we've got 661 of wheat we've got a bunch of oat we got 20,000 oat just shy thereof canola we've got 110,000 of canola and then our soybeans 110 of uh, soybeans as well yeah, we've got a fair amount of both of those. Now, it's the wheat, 
and the oat. Those two are pretty minor, what we have. So let's take a look at our global com our, our seasons uh, markets. So wheat is still pretty high. I could sell that in game just to get rid of it. And oat, oat is high as well. So you know what? I'm just going to sell these, I think, in, in game here. Or in our, uh, on the, in the county instead of going to the global markets. Just to save a little bit of grief. Uh, let's see. Oat, our best price is going to be, well, 566 at Laredo Grain. Our wheat, oh man, that's not even great. It's not very good prices, but that's okay. Uh, 342 versus 350. So I can go to Laredo Grain on the far side and we'll sell both of those. All right, so we'll fill up all our wheat. Like I said, only 6,000 liters. It's not very much, but I might as well sell it while, while we're here. Um, the market's not going to get any better. So we might as well get rid of it while we have a chance. And then we'll back this on up. And that is going to be going to Oat. There we go. We'll get rid of this stuff while we're here. we got a little bit, a couple time. And uh, at least should pay for our fuel. <laughs> at least it pays for the fuel for today and our maintenance. Uh, that'll get us through. Now the rest of that, the soybeans and the canola. I'm more tempted to look at taking those and bringing those to the global market, guys. I don't know if that would be more worthwhile or not. We'll take a look at prices, but I have a funny feeling that our prices on our global market might be better, so we may have to move those to our, our warehouses and start shipping those around. All right, should be good to go. We're full up on both wheat and, and oh yeah, wheat note, wheat note, let's go. And this is why I plowed this road. I just knew this truck struggles with any kind of uh, off kilter snow or anything like that. Um, just not a lot of traction there. It's a little low on power for the most part as well. It's, uh, it does definitely struggle, guys. So this is the main reason I decided that, well, we better plow this. And especially since we've got to go down quite a ways to, uh, to our drop-off, or grain silo. And just want to make sure we can make it. I do not want to have to bring a little blue out and try and pick this thing up, move it around. That's the last thing, is I want to ditch this truck. So plowing it first. You know what? I should probably talk to someone about getting paid for that contract. Because why do I have to plow all the county roads around here? And just pulling into Lorado Grain. Oh, watch over that snowbank I made. Uh, and then all the way into the shed here, and we should be good to go. Should make a quick sale, make a few bucks, and uh, call it call it for that. At least that gets rid of all the canola or the wheat and the canola we had. We don't really need to keep those in there. There's no point in me trying to ship those around. I don't think. There's the wheat. Drop that off, and then switch back to our back tank, which has the or the oat. That's right. There we go. Get rid of the oat. Only two grand. That's hardly worth it, but that did pay for all maintenance at least. Um, only, we only had 6,000 liters of that, so that's totally fine, guys. Mm, yeah, whatever. It is a bit of money. It's not, it's, it's tough to justify, I suppose. And there we go. So we made 13,000, roughly. Uh, 13 grand for just a quick trip. Yeah, I know. I get it. It's a, it's a bit of a pain, but that's fine. All right, let's get on out of here and back up. See what we're going to do with the rest. We're going to take a look at the markets, and maybe we should see what our best bet is going to be. If we should either sell in, uh, in county, or if we should ship the rest of that stuff, the canola and our soybeans to the global markets. Oh man, best driver in farm sim. What happened? <laughs> I caught this, I just caught the snowbank on the way around and jackknifed me right around here, guys. Oh man, that was, um, I don't know if I'm able to get this out of here. Look at this. Ah, that's, I built too much of a snowbank. I should have known better. Let's see if I can back it up. Come on. Oh, easy, easy, easy. The good thing that, that tra the trailer is empty at least. But, oh, man, I don't want to get this thing stuck. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Ooh! Okay. Yeah, that was, uh, that was, that was a fun ride. Yeah, it's amazing how a little bit of snow can totally change that down to the corner. Uh, I wasn't going all that fast. I mean, this truck only does, like, well, 51 miles an hour is what we max out on. It's a little underpowered, but it was really the cheapest truck we could get our hands on. So it was good that way, but... I came around that corner and she was just pushing me around and I lost it. So I hit the snowbank, everything just went for a ride. And look how close we were. Well, you know what? We're nice and close to our farm at least. I could have went and got the tractor and pulled them out, but what a pain that would have been. Uh, happy we got it out. Look at that. Nice snow. Ah, we did a good snow clearing job. I'm happy. Look at that. You can see for miles. Minus the stuff right here. <laughs> All right, let's pull on in and uh, we'll put this back inside. Now I need to go into the shop here. We need to go take a look at our global markets. See what's going to give us the most bang for our buck as far as our soy and our canola goes, guys. We've got some options there. I don't know what's best off. I know both both those are going to be dropping in value pretty quick. Uh, the other thing I'm going to need to do now, I need to go check this truck. I wish we probably fix this thing up, give it some fuel up later on today as well. But 
Eh, we'll worry about that after we take care of our market stuff, right? Let's pull on in. See what we got for markets and uh, we'll figure out what's going to be our best bet here. All right, guys, let's take a quick look at our markets here quickly and see what our options are going to be. So just going to take a quick look at what our expectations are. Uh, our soybeans prices are, well, never been lower. <laughs> this is as low as it gets. We do not want to sell soybeans right now, but we can prep. We can prep to sell them. Uh, our canola, mind you, canola is decent right now. Uh, it's going to be, we should have sold that all on the first day of winter. You can see right now prices are starting to drop and slide a bit. So there's that going on. So canola is good. Soybeans, not so good. Now, if we look at the actual market prices that we currently have in the county, uh, canola, you can see is 566 is our best. We go down to our soy, but 668. Yeah, not great prices to sell anything in soybeans right now. But, okay, so this is in county. Let's go take a look and see what worldwide markets are saying. Uh, so canola, 560 something, whereas soybeans, 650, somewhere in that range is what we're averaging out. Let's take a quick look at our import export center and get a, just a baseline for some of our prices. So our canola, our canola is, look at this. Oh yes, 700, so $200 more per thousand liters. That's not bad. Uh, we have, we do have a warehouse in Argentina as well. I should have I should mention Cambodia is really high as well. Uh, where else do we have some warehouses? Let me think here. Greece, we do have a warehouse, 600 bucks. So that's still $50 higher per thousand liters. Let me think here. Mexico, we have one, 742 in Mexico. See, that's not a bad spot. We can ship there. Uh, let me think here. What else do we have? We have Russia, 800. Wow. See, that's a good price. And US, US is a really high price as well, guys. That is fantastic. Okay, let's. so that's canola. If we go down to our, what else do we have? Soybeans? Soybeans. Let's take a look at the market for soybeans. Now, soybeans was down to 600 and some bucks per thousand liters, but look at this, 1147, that's, that's crazy. Twice as much. We're getting twice the value. Denmark, 1891. Do we have a warehouse in Denmark? We need to get a warehouse in Denmark. Let me think, what else do we have? Just scrolling down, let's go back down to US. 1400 in US, guys, these, are, these prices are way better. So we're better off to sell to the global markets for sure. If we can, now the problem is we can only sell so much and you do need to find those buy orders from the warehouse. So you definitely run out of time um, and there's only so much you can sell. So for instance, let's see if we can find something we have here. Just take a look if you guys have seen this before. So Greece, we do have 13,000 liters in Greece of soybeans. Does Greece have any sell orders right now or for soybeans? That is the question. If we could sell some, that'd be fantastic. But there's no one's buying soybeans right now out of Greece. That is really too bad. If I go down to US, soybeans, 95,000 liters we have. I need to get rid of soybeans in the US. I'd love to sell some. I would love to because the prices look like they're pretty good in the U.S. right now. Nobody's buying. Nobody's buying it right now. I cannot sell the stuff for the life of me. It's too bad as well. Another problem I'm running into here, if we go into our fund transfer. Um, so currently we have a max of 261000 that we can transfer out of our meta account or our market account over to our in-game account. That's per year. Every 12 days, that's the max we're allowed to transfer over. I'm about to hit that max. And I can't transfer anymore again after that for 12 days. So everything I make in the market, so every time I make money in the market, this is the account that it goes into. I can only transfer so much of that money over to our usable income account. I cannot just use this account right now. I have to have this transferred over. There's a whole bit of a deal with that and the amount of time it takes. So you do have to make sure you come in here and try and sell as much as we can and stay on top of these global markets. But right now, guys, I have nowhere to sell. I got, I got nothing. So... Um, I'm tempted to sell in game, but the market prices in game are horrible right now are in County. So we do need to come back. I'm going to sell to the warehouses and hopefully we can find a way of just moving this money around. Um, it, we're going to, have to do what we can do guys. It's the best. It's our only option right now. The money inside here is so much better than selling it in County. We'll go worldwide. I think we're going to be better off. So I've got a load of canola. I'm going to take this to our worldwide markets, ship this out of, out of the County at least and see what we can do with it. Um, like I said, we've got about 120,000 liters of each canola and soybeans. Quite a bit. It really is. It's quite a, it's quite a bit of a, a shipment to do here. And I think we'll be better off to sell. So I, I just have to make sure we stay on top of this and sell whenever we have that opportunity, guys. It's going to take us some time. It's just going to take us some time to make that money. Um, I don't need the money in our checkings account that we can use right here. That 83,619 you see right now. I really don't need that money other than for buying seed, fertilizer, lime, that kind of stuff. So I don't need to have the money coming in here. So I think my plan is going to be to try to make as much money as I can into our savings account through through sales and then use our that to buy our equipment because we can buy equipment through our auction house there and that might be the best bet. 
but yeah it's still we gotta make sure we stay on top of that unfortunately you just don't it's you miss that delay it's, a, it's such a delayed gratification you don't get the money right away and you have to make sure you stay on top of it but we're getting there where things are looking pretty pretty decent right now i got some equipment i want to buy you guys know how it is but anyways we got lots of driving to do today i got about what, four shipments we'll make <laughs> it's gonna take some time this gets all good good thing we plowed the roads look at this what a nice job we did wow that's loud this jake is so loud anyways folks uh things are good good our loan's getting paid off slowly slowly but surely we're still making payments on it but it's gonna take some time there i don't i don't want to spend any money just paying it all off we're gonna hold off as long as we can on the loan um until we can get some decent equipment at least and then we'll pay that all off but for now we're just gonna keep on making the payments i think and starting to increase our equipment cost and maybe see if we can buy some more land potentially i don't know we gotta hire some guys we have to hire some people at some point in time i know some people have been asking so we'll see we'll see what happens uh, anyways guys that's going to do it for us today we're heading to the global markets we'll sell some product off hopefully by uh, next time we'll be back it'll be spring we'll be ready to do some planting maybe even get ready to do some harvesting who knows we'll see so anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed today's update on the farm sim network and uh, here on medicine creek if you guys did oh watch over the ditch oh, that was close i uh, dropped that like don't forget to subscribe and i will uh, i'll catch you next time folks have a fantastic day this is clutch over and out oh get up the hill get up that hill Come on, baby. Climb for me. Oh, it's a struggle. Get up there.